Hello everybody, today I'll be preparing an authentic uh, Tamil favorite. It's called as Karwadi Korambe, which is dry fish curry. When served with rice, it's really amazing and tasty. To start off with, I'm uh, going to go ahead and soak some uh, lentils or it's also known as uh, field beans. We call it as mochakai. Uh, now, I've gone ahead and added uh, water to a hot case and uh, soak the beans for two hours ahead of time uh, what the hot pack does it it cooks the beans fast and uh, it doubles in size so it's easy for us to cook when we are going to pressure cook it so now I'm gone ahead and added the beans and the potatoes together and I'm going to cook it for two whistles and reserve it and the second part of this process is cooking some tomatoes and tamarind uh, to prepare a puree as you've seen in my previous uh, rasam preparation video I've shown you exactly how I extract the uh, tamarind and the tomato puree so you have to visit my rasam video I'll post the link in the description box I'm going to cook this tomatoes and tamarind for 15 minutes and extract a puree and uh, after that I'm going to prepare a masala I've gone ahead heated a wok with ghee and uh, to the ghee I've added peppercorns fenugreek seeds and uh, cumin seeds I'm also going to add green chilies, onion, garlic and uh, ginger along with uh, two sprigs of curry leaves and I'm going to fry this thoroughly till it's transparent and I'm going to add this, uh, add this to the mixer jar and prepare a smooth puree so this will take about 10 minutes time to cook on a very low flame till it turns transparent and you'll have to allow the uh, mixture to cool down before you add it to a mixer jar and prepare a paste out of it. So you can definitely go ahead and add a little bit of water to grind this paste. And once the masala has prepared, I'm going to go ahead and reserve this. And we're going to use this at the later stage of the gravy preparation. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, clean the dry fish. I've already gone ahead and cubed the uh, dry fish. I'm using sear fish. Uh, you can definitely use uh, dried shark as well for this recipe. Uh, if you can find dried shark or uh, kingfish, dried kingfish in your area, you can use it. The reason why the water is so murky is because in India, they preserve the dry fish with a lot of water, I'm um, sorry, a lot of uh, salt and they allow it to sun dry and uh, uh, the entire uh, moisture from the fish is gone and it is just packed with salt so you need to wash all the salt down and uh, uh, otherwise your dish is completely going to go salty so I washed it thoroughly with uh, cold water and hot water and uh, once I finish washing that I'm going to add a little bit of uh, vinegar just chili powder and turmeric mix all of this and uh, allow this to marinate for some time uh, in the meanwhile I'm going to prepare the gravy now so in a karai I've used the same karai and I'm going to add uh, I've added about five to six tablespoons of ghee uh, we have to be generous with the ghee and oil for this recipe and I've also added oil to this and uh, first of all I have tempered the ghee and oil with uh, mustard seeds and cumin seeds and then I've added the masala paste prepared masala paste I'm using the same karai, I've not uh, used a different pan because uh, it uh, has all the brown bits and it's got uh, the caramelized onions which I fried earlier for the masala. Now once the masala is frying, I'm going to go ahead and add two sprigs of curry leaves, a pinch of asafoetida and uh, for this recipe I'm going to use shallots, whole shallots which I have halved and uh, crushed garlic, about a fistful of crushed garlic yes we need to be generous with the garlic and the onions it's going to give a really sweet and it's going to have that pungent flavor and taste it's going to give a very good taste once uh, the masala start to soak up and then I'm going to add uh, the chili powder turmeric powder and the coriander powder and fry the onion for some time it will take about 10 minutes time till it turns transparent in the meanwhile I'm going to go ahead and uh, fry the dry fish in a different cry uh, so I've added about two tablespoons of oil and I'm going to fry the dry fish which is marinating till it turns crisp so it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook and uh, to the masala I'm going to add brinjols um, and I'm going to fry it thoroughly 
and add salt enough salt and the tamarind puree which I have prepared earlier so I'll post the link for the rasam preparation video in the description box below you can visit that video and you can see how exactly I prepare this tamarind paste or the puree and I'm going to add the entire extract which I had added earlier uh, along with salt and cover this and allow this to cook till the brinjals have cooked thoroughly uh, the brinjal sh should remain uh, firm but it should cook you should not allow that to go into a mush because we are going to add a whole lot of other ingredients to this and I'm also going to add the cooked beans at this point I changed my uh, vessel because I had to transfer the uh, I had to transfer the curry from the wok to a handi a different pot a bigger pot because it was obviously I'm going to add a lot of other things so at this point I added the uh, once the brinjals have cooked I have added the potatoes and the dry fish which I fried earlier I'm going to bring this to a nice rapid boil cover this and bring it to a nice rapid boil and I'm also going to add um, cooked I'm sorry boiled uh, eggs that is totally optional at this point your curry is done if you want to serve it you can serve it just like that or you can go ahead and add uh, boiled eggs as I am doing I am just going to add boiled eggs it gives an extra taste and very nice taste uh, and I am going to place a cover and allow this to boil trust me this gravy tastes really yummy not the same day but in 3 days time it has to soak up all the masalas and you have to enjoy this in 3 days time once the the older the gravy the better the taste so I've gone ahead and served it with rice it tastes really good with kanji as well uh, that is our traditional uh, recipe I'll be posting the kanji recipe also so do try this recipe and post your comments friends until then thanks for watching